pissed off in the cause of holocaust I'm pissed off in the cause of I don't need that When I lease her And I miss her No picture Hella pretty looking like a sunflower Y'all never call it with the answer Like Bruce Wayne Like Bruce Wayne Many money got me feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne Girls too late Girls too late Finna let you go like a loose chain Bad girl, she on stomach, she don't like me She's an animal, she just wanna bite me She don't even wanna hear me, she don't text me Yeah, because second enough for the Nike All the niggas, they be trying to imitate me before Rema would gain massive 1.8 million followers on Instagram and 1.7 million followers on Twitter at the time of his recordings. Before Rema would reach massive fan base of 612,000 subscribers on YouTube and his song Iron Man will reach massive views. How's it going guys? This is Rise to Fame and we bring to you the journey of African celebrities to fame. For more updates, subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments down below on who we should do next. Now let's get right into the video coming up. Divine Cuba, who is professionally known as Rema, is a fast rising Nigerian singer, rapper, songwriter, entertaining and stage performer, and a recording artist. He was born in the year 2000 in Benin City, a suburb of Edo Street, into a Christian family to Mr. and Mrs. Ikuba. Rema grew up with his parents in Benin. He completed his primary and secondary school education and obtained his first school living and his West African Senior School Citizenship Certificate, both in Benin, Edo State, Nigeria. Not until his early age, both his father and brother lost their lives. It was time for him to be the man in the house. He worked so hard at a bar beach at Ghana. At age 17, he bought his mom a brand new SUV when he himself was still trekking. Rema started rapping in local churches and schools at a very tender age using downloaded beats. Rema was still in school, he moved on to create his own live band. He started hitting the studio hard when moved from Ghana back to Nigeria and not so long until he was discovered by D Prince who is currently the chief executive officer of Johnson World Record and also the immediate younger brother to young Nigerian billionaire artist and producer Don Jazzy who is currently the CEO of Marvin Records. The Prince signed a record label deal with his Johnson World, a subsidiary of Marvin Records, in 2019. He released his debut EP, Rema, in 2019. It peaked number one on Apple Music Nigeria. According to the words of The Prince, when I first heard Rema's work, I knew this was an artist. I wanted the entire world to listen to it. His talent and artistry are so far beyond these years. The Prince was the one who introduced Rema to Don Jazzy and had him sign a record deal with Melvin Records and Johnson World Records in late 2018. According to the words of Melvin Records boss Don Jazzy, Rema is a, form, a formidable young artist with a skill and versatility. He has a unique place in the future of Afrobeats. At the same time, we are excited to launch our first imprint deal with Johnson World. Don Jazzy revealed this during a press briefing. On 19th October 2019, Rema won Next Rated and was nominated for Viewer's Choice at the 13th edition of the Hades Awards. On 12 January 2020, he received the Sound City MVP for Best New Artist. On 15 June 2020, Rema was nominated as Best Viewer's Choice International Act on the 2020 BET Awards. He was nominated on the awards alongside Benaboy and Whiskey. They were the only Nigerian artists nominated for the awards edition of at age 17, he bought his mom an SUV Lexus car. So far, he has blessed his fans with hit songs, which are well accepted by his fans in the streets. 
These include Iron Man, currently sitting at 5.1 million views on YouTube. Dumebi, which cracked 33 million views on YouTube. Kwani, which made its way to 6.4 million views on YouTube. Bad Commando, which made its way to 4.2 million views on YouTube. And Lady, which cracked 6 million views on YouTube. As very tender age, he lost both his father and his brother. This left him to be the man in the house, and he therefore must work extra hard. Bema is currently one of the richest and most influential artists in the Nigerian music industry with an estimated net worth of $1 million as of 2020. Rema, who happens to be a young artist, is currently among the richest and most influential artists in the Nigerian music industry. Rema owns a BMW Bema M4. He acquired the car from the BMW Club of Nigeria after he released his new song Bema. He also owns a GAC SUV. Rema won the GAC SUV after winning the next rated award in October 2019. He was lucky enough to win or receive this car as an award from the organizers of the next rated awards.